You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. Well, everything changed on Monday's bold episode when Steffi stabbed Sheila Carter to death in her living room. I expect Finn's on his way home from the hospital and everything is going to change after this. Steffi's life will never be the same and I have to wonder if she's headed to prison and possibly to divorce court. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Please subscribe if you have it and out. Let's dive into this huge shakeup. I have to say I've been mostly disappointed in sweeps this year because it was largely the RJ Luna Zende creepy mint virgin show. Now though we have huge action but I felt like this was all very abrupt and they did not do a proper buildup to what happened. I feel like they just devoted the bulk of sweep scripts to the new kids on the block and then decided to deliver something whiz bang for the end of sweeps, but it's kind of out of the blue. You know, they wrote Steffi going over to confront Sheila when Sheila actually, for a change, had done nothing wrong. Steffi marched over there, confronted her, punched her, and it just kind of seemed out of nowhere. They went from zero to 60 with no subtlety, no segue, no buildup. And then from that, straight to Sheila, come Coming to take out Steffi and then her getting killed. It's bizarrely fast for a soap that likes to drag stuff out for so long. This to me was way too fast. There was no finesse, not a well-crafted story. In my opinion, they were just going for shock value to try and get a ratings boost because things have been getting steadily worse in the ratings at b 32 straight weeks of low ratings. Maybe they thought killing off Sheila Carter will spike their ratings, and indeed it might. But what then? Are they going to kill somebody off once a week? I mean, this is kind of a one trick pony. So just to confirm, yes, Camberlin Brown is out as Sheila Carter. Sheila's three decade reign of terror on both Y&R and b and ended with a butcher knife to her chest at the hands of Steffi Forrester. So where does that leave us now? On Tuesday's episode, Steffi called 911. The paramedics come, but of course it's too late for the nine-toed menace. She is dead and gone, and the shockwaves are going to be insane. Finn already told Steffi that he'd be heading home soon from the hospital, so I just wonder if he's going to get to the house in time to see his mom dead in that big puddle of blood on the floor of their home. I mean, it's crazy. I also wonder what was in Sheila's pocket. Remember, she reached into it twice, like once outside and once when she was inside. I was wondering if it was a knife or a gun. If it is a weapon of any sort, then Steffi's statement of self-defense should not even be in question. But if it's not a weapon, if Sheila came over there with nothing in her pockets, no weapon of any sort, if it's just her phone or her car keys or something else innocuous, Steffi may actually face some legal repercussions, not from what she did, but from what she said before what she did. I mean... We all heard her say out loud, she wishes Sheila Carter was dead. She said, I won't be safe until she's dead. No one will be. She told Finn that and she told Sheila that. And then Finn told Hope. Sheila told Deacon in front of Finn the same thing. So there are several people that know that Steffi was thinking about putting Sheila six feet under. And then now all of a sudden she's dead. So while you viewers, we viewers, we know Steffi killed her in self-defense. The optics look bad for when the police roll up and especially because of what Finn has to say. So, you know, when you basically make a death threat and then you kill that person, it can look like premeditated murder murder rather than an accidental death. I don't think this is going to go well for Steffi. Plus, spoilers say by the end of the week, Finn has turned on Steffi and is pro Sheila. So this week, Steffi's going to face questions from Deputy Chief Baker. And by Friday, Ridge asks Baker for a favor. I wonder if he's trying to talk him out of filing charges against Steffi. I mean, oof, this is messy for certain. I feel like all of this, honestly, was just to ruin Steffi and Finn's marriage and open the door wide for Waffle Boy Liam to walk right in and steal Finn's woman. I also have to say, I just don't even get what b and is doing right now. It feels like there are 
eight people all writing scripts, but none of them are talking to each other. We had Xander in town slinging murder accusations at Thomas, then he just evaporated. We've heard nothing else of that. Then we have this Zende non-consent Luna thing, which to me was tasteless and icky and absolutely unnecessary. And then they veered hard left to devote a single episode to Steffi out of the blue exploding. And then the next episode, she stabbed home invading Sheila. It's just, it's all over the place. It's not coherent. It's not consistent. I can't even say what's going on over there in the writer's room, but I do know that one of their longtime writers just walked away. Michelle Valjean just left Bold and the Beautiful. She's been there for the last 12 years and is not there anymore. G.H. snatched up Patrick Mulcahy, who did dynamite work at Bold. I would have loved to see him back to B&B to maybe fix what is clearly broken with the writing over there, but I am betting the ABC soap is not going to let Mulcahy go. Steffi Forster actress Jacqueline McKenna Wood said that she hated to see Kimberlyn Brown go because she loves working with her, calls it bittersweet. As for Kimberlyn, she seems to be taking it hard. She told TV Insider that leaving is a tough place to be right now and said she can't lie about that. But she also said, if anyone were going to take Sheila down, it's my happy play that she's glad that it was Steffi. And she called B&B saying, it's my happy place where I've been so blessed to be for over 35 years years, said she'd had a good run. So she's one of the lucky ones, no doubt about it. Jackie Wood said after killing Sheila that Steffi's in shock for a while. And, you know, she had to protect herself, protect her family. But killing a human being is something that is hard to wrap your head around. She said it's very raw and it's going to be an emotional roller coaster for Steffi. Jackie also said, I really hope that Finn is there for Steffi. He really needs to understand the weight of this. But she also admitted this whole situation could open the door for Liam. Jackie also said she doesn't want Steffi back with Liam, but says Finn is not making Steffi feel safe right now. And of course, we know the actors don't get to write the scripts. So if Brad Bell wants to drag her back to Liam, that's where it's going to go. I will say one thing. Everybody in LA should be feeling safer right now because Sheila Carter is dead. But man, I am so bummed to see Camberlin Brown out. I really like her. And it has me wondering what is next for Deacon Sharp? What is next for Finn and Steffi's marriage? How long until Liam is over there trying to, you know, tear them apart when they are at their weak moment? We'll see. But we are going to talk about what's next for everybody in another video very soon. Drop your comments. Can you believe that Sheila Carter is dead? Are you going to miss Kimberlyn Brown? Please click subscribe if you haven't already and definitely come back soon. We are here talking bald seven days a week. And as always, it is Belinda from Soap dirt thank you for being a loyal listener follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode soap dirt is on all the major podcast platforms including apple podcast spotify iHeartRadio, and more <laughs>